Alright people, this is Edwin Backstabber here. And um, this is the Brazil Argentina match and right off the bat I'm just proving that I'm actually playing on Legendary. See there? Right there, Legendary. Because some people have been saying that I I'm not playing on Legendary. Even though I just proved it right there and I know some people continue to say I am not playing on legendaries despite the proof right there that it's on legendary. I'm making you watch this whole loading thing just to prove that I didn't cut anything out. Um, so this is the big match. This is the match against Brazil. Um, obviously a big match. Uh, it's in Brazil as well, and I end up getting a really good score. I end up doing really well in this match, and as you'll see throughout the video. This video only shows the first half and about five minutes of the second half. And my next few matches, the next match is against Paraguay. That is a good match for me, definitely. This match is obviously good because I haven't told you the score yet, but it ends out very well for me. Um, and the, Pere the Peru game, right after the Paraguay game, that, that goes alright. It goes alright. Anyway, this can probably tell about cold, so this commentary will be quite slow and. Land, probably. But Brazil are a good team. They got a good defense. The problem about their defense is their their defense is nowhere near as fast as players like Messi and Tevez and Messi should have scored there. Um, but if you get past Lucio or um a player like Daniel Alves or something like that, whoever's playing in defence for them, whoever they pick. Um, Messi and Tevez will just be able to run right past them, get in a good position and shoot. They're that fast. It's, they're probably, in my mind, they're probably the two fastest forwards on the game, on the same country. Um, that's just me taking a random guess, but it could be completely different for all I know. End up, and I end up doing really well in this match. I actually think I played quite well, apart from some pathetically bad chances that I missed, like that earlier where Messi just got missed. Um, it's pretty bad. Uh, yeah. And Messi, Tev isn't Messi. Messi. Messi's probably a wee bit faster. Messi's got a wee bit more skill in him as well. So, Messi's really good for running in and out players and stuff like that. Well, not running in and out, but just sort of going from standstill to speed. And like Tevez, he takes a tiny bit more than Messi to go from standing still to running. And. It is a tiny wee bit when you look at the stats and stuff, but when you're actually playing, you'll realise it a lot more. The more you play with Argentina, you'll realise it. Um, uh, but I don't think there's a better player on the game over Messi, because Messi is really an amazing player. Um, in real life and in this game, Mascherano is obviously a really good player. He's, I think he actually gets injured after this game. He's, he gets injured and end up playing Veron in the next few games. And he's nowhere near as good as Mascherano. Mascherano. And there, right there, I saw the opening for Messi, but I did a pretty pathetic job of it. And 
Another thing, unless you're playing like Diego Merlit or something like that, then I know I do this quite a lot of my videos just for the sake of it. Um, just because I really don't know what to do from those positions, but try not to cross it in when you're playing as Argentina because I really don't think Tevez and Messi stand a chance against like, Lucio and players like that and Cannavaro and people like that. I think you're better just to pass it back into the midfield and sort of pass it around, look for an opening pass and then capitalise on it. And the corners are fine, you can take corners because there's big players like Gutierrez and some other big players, but Gaggle's quite big as well. Um, and there I probably should have scored again, I mean, if I'd shot a bit earlier that probably would have went in. Anyway, I'm just sort of trying to open up their fence and sort of so I can be able to make a free ball through and then I can just get Tevez or Messi or even Mascherano or something to find the ball and just hit in the net. Really because when you're in one-on-one -on -one situations you really won't miss that much because it's so easy to score one on one. On this game, anyway, it's really easy to score one on Unless you're at an awkward angle. For some reason, the computer actually struggles to score one on ones unless they're right in the center and center, right in the center facing the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper will very, very rarely save those ones. But if it's even a tad out to the left, where they can just slot in right corner, it's still usually make a big mess of it. Uh, so yeah. And there's the net, he gets really lucky in. That could have resulted in a Brazil goal there very, very easily. And I think this is the first goal. I'm not sure. Now, it was a penalty the first goal, but that is probably one of the most stupid tackles I've ever seen on FIFA. Easily. And I very rarely miss my penalties, and that's no exception. Messi's good penalty taker. Wow. <laughs> that was a different celebration, anyway. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do a celebration like that. Um, wow, that's. A nice celebration. Uh, I've got a cold, as I mentioned. As I mentioned before. Uh, and there's the end of the first half. I'm 1 0 up at the Brazil Stadium. I have no idea what it's called. So. No slag about like that. Anyway, that's the first half, that's probably all I'll commentate over. I think there is a goal to come. Um, yeah, there definitely is a goal early on in the second half, which I will miss commentating over. So, see you next video when I'm 2 0 up.
Michael's ball intercepted. Carlos Tevez. 